everybody, Corey here coming at you with uh, something I don't normally do on this channel. It's going to be an unboxing and first impressions video. The reason I'm doing this, as you can see in the title, um, is because this is actually a really new folding knife. And there are pretty much like no videos on the internet so far about it or people like getting around it. So um, I do just want to get this out there as soon as possible so people can start making decisions on whether or not they want this knife. I have to put in a disclaimer. I am somewhat biased. Um, the more research that I've done on these knives between the time that I purchased it and today when it actually arrived at my front door, um, I have found a lot of really negative feedback. Um, and I do have a few things that I'm going to be specifically paying attention to. I hope that somehow this knife that I got is an exception or maybe like they stepped up their QC game. I don't know. We're going to see. But I just want you to know that, you know, I'm also kind of doing this because I'm really just hoping that it's as amazing as I wanted it to be when I purchased it. So without further ado, fresh out of the box, fresh out of FedEx. So let's just get going. We've got our Ontario Rat 2, which is our conventionally small knife and also our package opener. I got all kinds of stuff. I got my invoice. I got another invoice. Bunch of Smoky Mountain Knives works, merch. Got some stickers and stuff, whatever. That's, that's Smoky Mountain Knives. Um, got some wrapping paper. Got the knife itself. And what else do we have in here? There's like a bunch of stuff. Okay, it's, the rest of it is just more more box, okay? Great. So there's the box. So Tour Knives sends you their knives in these white boxes. Some people say that it is a little reminiscent of another US knife brand. Maybe Chris Reeve knives, who knows? Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look at what's going on here. So this is the Tour Knives Merchant, as you can see from the front. High hopes. High hopes. I know this knife looks the way I want it to look. Now let's see if it feels the way I want it to feel. How does this open? Okay. So it's got a magnetic like little front flap right there. So we're going to do that. Tor knives. Sticker. Tor knives. Big microfiber cloth. This is actually folded into four four sections and it's the size of a usual microfiber so that's big um i see the knife it looks nice but you know we'll get to that the usual warranty card folding series it's probably flipped in the video sorry about that but you know warranty card uh they give you some frog lube and by the way this is the presentation it's all set up in here and we are going to take it out it's kind of hard to take out. So, very attractive. Exactly what I was kind of going for. I will say, uh, right out of the box, um, the, the size, <laughs> excuse me, size is what I expected. Um, the weight, it's also what I expected, but it's, it's heavier than what I'm used to. So let's let's try to get it to focus on the knife. It probably won't because it's a first impressions and it's got the, we got it backwards. Um, I will say looking at this in the light, um, the hardware looked a little bit more um, gold in the pictures. It's definitely more of like a brass, like a very pale brass actually. Um, and I can already see one of the issues, unfortunately, um, that I saw online. The pivot, look at that. Look at that on that side right there. You see how it's kind of like inset? Watch this. Okay, it's going to make an ass out of me now. See how it's not anymore? I can actually push this pivot back and forth with my thumb. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Centering. Looks really good to me. Let's let's open this. 
really doesn't have much of a detent. Yep, so I can I can open it by giving it a good old fling. That doesn't necessarily turn me off. Let's do a, let's do a slow open. Comfy. Lock up. Let's see if you can see that. Lockup's about 20-25%, I would say, on this one specifically. That was with a slow roll. Um, the frame lock is very easy to disengage. There is no uh, lock bar insert uh, or an over, for, you know, for purposes of uh, reducing lock stick or acting as an over travel stop. Let's let's give it a good a thumb flick. Okay. Um, I will say right off the bat, one of the things that people have complained about is that it has a very weak detent. I think it's fine. Um, I think it's, you know, a matter of taste if you don't like being able to whip a knife open like that. But for the record, I'm giving it a pretty good swing. Like when I do whip it open, like this is a decent amount of force right now and you can see it's it's not opening. If I give it a... There you go. Now it's open. You gotta you gotta really kind of put the effort in, but you can. Um, I cannot say that I am unimpressed yet. I like the action, to be quite honest. Um, let's see if we can replicate what was happening online. So I will say, lockup is about closer to thirty to forty percent if you thumb flick it. Which makes sense, you know, as opposed to slow rolling it because you're not getting a lot of force here. And I think people forget that, um, right? When you barely put any effort into opening the knife, there's less impact on that lock bar. So it's not going to move over as far as it potentially could if you whipped it open, you know, with like a thumb flick. So when I slow roll it, I get like 20, 25%. When I flip it open with my thumb... I get about 30 to 40%. So I'm actually happy with that. Another thing people online have uh, shown that these knives do is that they close under pressure. Um, they push the lock bar out of the way. Not happening here. And that was a big, that was going to be a big deal. I will say something uh, that I noticed. Lots of lock stick. Lots of lock stick. Um, not the worst thing in the world. Of course, this is because there's no lock bar insert, but let's see if you can hear that. Oh, wow. It's a lot of lock stick. Did you hear that? That was the lock stick. Hear that? One more time. That's the lock stick. Right, let's see if we can show you. Um, I will say, there's not a lot of tension on this lock bar, this uh, the, the 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 frame lock. Um, I am very 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 easily pushing it. See that? I'm very easily pushing that beyond the scales. Um, I do wonder and I do worry if over time that's going to lose even more tension as I continue to kind of push it past. Um, in the meantime, though, I am not dissatisfied. Let's do this. So there's no blade play. I don't know what the deal really is with being able to kind of move the pivot just a little. Maybe like half a millimeter, right? But... Um, Yeah, there's no blade play, so I don't really have any problems. Um, I'm good with this. I don't. I don't think this has the problems that you know some other people have reported. Thankfully, um, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Of course, this is the Tonto. This is the Shadow Black. It'll be in the video description. Really love that the tour logo 
um, is actually engraved. It's not just, you know, lasered. Um, the, it has depth to it. You can see it. You can feel it. Another thing that I really like, the jimping. It's, it's pretty aggressive, but it reminds me of Spyderco aggressive. And if you know what that means, you know that um, it's, it's functional jimping, jimping. It's really nice. It bites into your fingers. It doesn't hurt. It, it, it doesn't hurt my fingers. It's, it's what I would want out of a knife that I'm going to use. Also, this is model, not model number, but the, or this is the production number 069. Nice for all you Reddit users. Um, that's cool. Pocket clip. No problem. Wow. Wow. Talk about spring tension on that pocket clip. Wow. Oh my God. That's so stiff. That's so firm. Wow. Okay. So maybe that's not so much of a problem because one thing that a lot of people are complaining about that I just can't get my head around. Um, they complain that the pocket clip is a very shallow carry. They built it this way. They built it this way on purpose. You knew that the pocket clip was shallow carry when you purchased the knife. Don't complain about it when you get it. That being said, the reason I'm bringing that up is because this pocket clip is stiff as hell. I'm guessing it's going to be latching onto your pants when you have this in there. My God, this thing is beautiful. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is going to be the first video where I try to do some like B-roll editing in the beginning. So hopefully you can, you can kind of get a view, but... This is beautiful. Um, it's very thick. You can see how thick it is here. You can also just look up the specs yourself. Um, I am actually impressed with how comfortable it is. And I think it's it's this comfortable because of how thick it is. Um, I got no problems. I got no problems. In terms of the tip, I'm not showing you. I'm just looking at it right now. The bevel... The bevel looks perfect. I've got no issues. On both sides, the bevel looks perfectly even. I have no complaints there. Um, again, lockup is looking good on mine. The thumb studs are wonderful. That uh, they're they're bitey. They're bitey like the jimping. I, I can't I can't see a world where I'm gonna fail the action on this. Let's let's just do it again. I don't know. I'm satisfied, honestly. And I'm glad because there are a lot of reviews out there. The only thing I can really say, this lock stick is intense. I mean, here we go again. That's intense. Um, and I worry because since there's no over travel stop, you're going to be dealing with that lock stick. You have to put more pressure on it. When you finally overcome it, you're going to, you're going to push that frame past the point where it rests, I'm afraid that you might, um, I'm afraid that you might slowly lose some tension on the frame. I can't get this thing to close like some people were doing online, which is a good thing, a very good thing. Um, yeah, so far, the only thing I'll say if you're this, so this runs on phosphor bronze washers. It's not a drop shut knife and it's, it's not supposed to be. I, th I really do think that they're trying to get in the realm of Chris Reeves knives. Um, I always say Reeves, I'm sorry. Um, I do think they're trying to get in the realm of Chris Reeves knives when it comes to like the kind of knife that they're building. I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a problem with that. I didn't buy this to, to really fidget with it. I bought it because honestly, it just looks really cool. Um, and it's an S35 Yen Titanium USA made knife. I mean, I can get behind that. The Ergos are wonderful. The Ergos are just absolutely wonderful. Uh, this, this handle shape actually reminds me of a Protex Strider. It's just a, a thin down version. But if you've ever seen a Protex Strider, it also has that kind of starts kind of narrow and then it goes out into like a, almost a triangular kind of shape. Um, I don't know. I like it up here. It reminds me of a Chris Reeve 
down here, this shape reminds me of a Protex Strider. I don't know. Right now, I'm very satisfied. Out of the box, my only real complaint, uh, the lock stick and the fact that the hardware is a little bit more pale. I was really looking for like a black and gold. Um, and this, this does kind of fit that. Um, but you can see here, it's just, it's a little bit more pale than I was expecting. So not really a big deal. The, the blade geometry is great. The grind is great. The, the sharpening choil looks perfectly adequate. It, get, it goes past the plunge. The thumb studs are nice. They're grippy. The jimping is nice. Um, the pivot moves, but I guess I don't really care since there's no blade play. The centering is good. Uh, the pocket clip is really stiff, but that's also kind of okay because it's a shallow carry and you want it to be in your pocket. Um, the finish is... Flawless? Can I say flawless? I don't see any nooks, or not nooks, I don't see any nicks on here. I, this is exactly what I would hope that it would be straight out of the factory. Um, the screws on the handle are technically not flush, but we're looking at, again, maybe half a millimeter proud. That's nothing crazy. Um, I like it. There's one more thing that I think I saw. We're going to take a look. Okay. So maybe it's just the Tonto blade shape, but this might be something that you want to watch out for. And this is a peeve of mine because this is like the only way I cut myself on my knives anymore. Can you see? Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, it's not focused. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Let's see if we can get it to catch the light. Oh, I can't. I can't get the tip to catch the light. Right about here, the tip of the knife. Wow, it's so hard to show. Um, it comes very close to the back of the scales. I can absolutely 100%, I can touch that. Uh, so I would be careful about getting that razor sharp because you might end up cutting yourself on it if you reach into your pocket, if the fat of your hand gets in there. Just something to think about. That's like the only way I cut myself on my knives now. Oh, you can barely see it. It's not focused. I'll show you close up. Um, right about there. You can just barely see it. Anyhow. Um, oh, sharpness. Let's, let's look at sharpness. I'll just cut this sticky note. I hope I'll cut this sticky note. So let's do on uh, where the, I guess, belly, the flat of the Tonto. Um, okay, let's, and let's do the, I don't know, the tip-ish part of the Tonto. I don't even know what to refer to that as. Okay, so that, oh no. Okay, so I think you can hear, you might be able to see. It's a little fuzzy. It's a little bit of a fuzzy cut. It's definitely not razor sharp, but it's sharp. It cuts, I don't, I don't, it's not dull. Let's put it that way. Um, guys, I know this is a longer video. I really wanted to thoroughly kind of look at this thing and take you through my process. I'm very happy to say I do not have the issues that a lot of people seem to be having with their tour knives. Um, I am satisfied. I am satisfied. Aside from the lock stick, which I think, you know, throw some graphite on there from a pencil. Um, and aside from the blade coming a little close to the back, um, I like this a lot. S35VN titanium, a wonderful finish job. Black and gold, sexy Tonto, good size, 3 point, I believe, uh, 3.75 inch long blade, great ergos, nice thick handle, fills out the hand, don't need a finger choil, sharpening choil is good, the grind is good, the thumb studs are aggressive enough to get a good grip on, the jimping is, the jimping is aggressive enough to get a grip on, the pocket clip is tight, which is good because it's a shallow carry, I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, but, um, Centering is on. I'm satisfied. That's my takeaway. So uh, 
Hopefully you enjoy that B-roll at the beginning of the, the video. I'm going to try to do some editing unlike any that I've done before. Let's get this up to my face since that's where it's focused. Very nice. Very nice on that finish. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the full review. I'm digging it.